Minasan konnichiwa. This is David. Um, doing a quick review of the 1144 High Mach and the Mach Army Weapon Set. Um, Sorry, the hammer gets me every time. I know, right? <laughs> uh, so here's the High Mach. Um, one thing that I've got to point out to just to put this review in context is that the High Mach was um, 680 yen. Yes. Um, so it's about a five dollar kit. Yes. Um, which is amazing. Mm. Um, you can pick up three of these for the price of most of the Build Fighters Try um, kits, and you could pick up four for even the same price as the big ones. And that's arguably by design, because these are, you know, grunt kits. You're supposed to have six of these guys fighting one dude. Correct, correct. And that's great. That's really, that's really wonderful. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out that's a neat little idea is this right here these are um adapters that go on the wrists you take off the hand um and you can replace the hands with one 100 size mg hands mm. um there are one 100 mg style hands that you can purchase separately from bondi yes. um, that are very articulate so you could actually give this thing like really really complicated hands even though it's a five dollar kit and so he can flip us off and give us a peace sign and all the things and that we do when you have articulate robot hands do great things like um carry the um the sword for the red frame astray <laughs> um and other things that are absurdly too big for mm -hmm. it um, and basically any 1-100 style weapon um, that you have, you can put on this um, high mock. Right. Um, so it's it's really neat, really versatile. Um, He's also, I, I built him. Yeah. Um, he is incredibly articulate for what is ultimately just a grunt. Yes. He's got a lot of opportunity for action poses. Yeah. He is very articulate for what he is. Um, so like you can blow him up, you can... <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, exploding away from yeah. you can put them in karate poses <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love this thing with the head I don't know if you can see really easily but his head scans yes it's on a pivot and like that's it it doesn't move in any other way it just scans back and forth yeah and that's so cute and the high mock um high or the mock weapon set mm. comes with an additional head mm. that is completely blank right and so you can do whatever you want with that anything you want um you can throw a v-fin on it you, you know that in the, yeah. oh yeah no it's in there yeah but it, it'll pivot just the same but it's completely blank there's there's not even any panel lines or anything on it right. so you can do whatever you want with it super customizable that's awesome um Next thing I want to show off about the high Maharo head. Yeah, you could give him a Maharo head. Um, <laughs> the next thing I wanted to show off is the backpack. <laughs> um, the backpack is it's very simple. Um, it's it's a backpack, but it's very no nonsense. Look, it's got um, adapter here, 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 and here, and two on the top. Mm. So it'll fit not just any of the the Build Fighters Tri Expansion kits, but it'd probably fit two of most of them. Like you could really do a lot with this mm -hmm. um and then on the legs you have four of these little panels right here mm -hmm. two on each leg these pop right off and become additional adapters mm -hmm. um so you could arm this thing to the teeth put yeah. all kinds of great customizations on it um these little tiny skirt things they pop off as well um revealing just the polycap but the polycaps um space is the same spacer size as the expansion kits for build fighters um so you could put even more stuff there you could if i mean if you really wanted to, to play around with it and you were using like the powered arms powered or kits and stuff <laughs> like that you could give this thing like what 30. two four six eight ten twelve twelve extra appendages or something like you could do a lot with this kit it's wonderful um, it has very sturdy, very stable hands. They're not articulated, but it's pretty much no, no 1.144s are. Mm. Um, but they're really stable, so they can hold pretty much anything. But if you want, you can also get better hands, mm. um, and there's adapters for them. So it's definitely done with that in mind. I really want to play with this kit. I really want to, like, customize it and fuss with it. Um, it also has full range of motion on its waist. Um, it's got a pivot point on its chest and it, um, where its chest connects to its waist. Mm -hmm. Um, as I showed you, the legs have a really good range of motion, the arms full pivot, 
And Very they're, useful in combat. Yeah, they, they swivel and they pivot. They, um, they're on a lever. They twist there. Um, and then they have two articulation points in the, in the elbow. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got plenty of range of motion. Um, you can actually lock it into place there. So this is a wonderfully engineered $5 kit. And, and despite the complexity of its engineering, um, this was not a hard kit. No, 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 no. I get tired and bored with, like, long builds. Yeah. Um, but this was not a long build. This was not a hard build. All of these pieces look like, you know, just screaming for you to paint. And I think what what else is really cool about the Heimach is that um, it's a very generic-looking robot. Yes, it is super generic. If you want to have a robot, or you want to build a robot, but you don't really want to buy into the whole, like, Gundam thing, you don't want to... You don't want to have to explain to anybody, well, why does he have the weird fin? What is that all about? Mm -hmm. um, this is just a good robot. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very like Votomes. <coughs> yeah, um, very nice. So this also pivots. That's right. And that could actually fit another couple. Or shields. Yeah, you could put shields. You could put like Zaku shield on it or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, so there's a lot of room there. Uh, now as far... Okay, so it also... It comes with its little blaster thing. Um, pew, pew. Yeah, very very simple. Very boring. But it, it does actually have a little bit of detail. So you can have a little bit of fun with that. Oh, that's a sticker. I really like that. It looks, really it nice, looks nice. It's one of the better stickers. Um, so the mock army weapon set, um, as I showed you before, it comes with an extra head so you can customize your high mock. Um, also, it comes with a battle axe. Um, yeah, it's a battle axe. Um, so you can give your high mock long flowing hair. No, wait. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm <laughs> and then it comes with this um, Gatling cannon. Um, that has a couple of um, canister ammunition holders. Um, and it actually adapts to different sizes of hands um, as well. Mm. Um, so it's, again, pretty customizable. Um, a giant hammer <laughs> with a vent. It's uh, like a clown hammer. So it's like a rocket hammer. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. But it, it's kind of cool. Uh, I actually, I kind of want to put this on like an astray or something. Mm. Um, you know, do like a like a samurai style mm. you know, fantasy type thing. Um, and then we have this, which is a sword Rifle? gun. Sword gun? Oh, that's right. Yeah, so it's a sword gun. I mean, it's got like a bladed <coughs> wheel thing there. Totally practical. Yeah. Um, these are these are cute. Like they're not um, they're not anything spectacular, but they're definitely unique. Um, they remind me slightly of the the Matsuri weapon system for Build Fighters um, that mm. has like all of the baseball bats and stuff like that. Um, so it's it's nice, but it's it's a little bit more serious than that. Um, not no, significantly no more. Yeah, there's no giant scissors, um, but it's a nice little kit. Anyway. Hi, Mock. $5 kit. It's wonderful. I can't recommend it enough. It's one of my favorite Build Fighters Try kits so far. Uh, and that's saying a lot because Build Fighters Try is a really, really good set of um, toys. And um, this is just, it's super customizable. A lot of stuff, a lot of fun stuff you could do with it. It's a simple build and it basically is like a perfect little action figure. I love it. I love it. Um, probably going to buy a couple more of them um, very soon. So... Um, 10 out of 10 toy of the week or whatever <laughs> um yeah so if you like our videos like subscribe comment if you want us to do anything in specific um hit us up and to the person who specifically requested the hi mock i forget your name hi thank you yes thank you um we and looked for it because you asked if you if you haven't if you haven't noticed because our reviews do get a lot of hits but um our other stuff sometimes does or sometimes doesn't uh, philomena and i have been talking about um g gundam and we've been talking about we actually just did a talk last night that i'm going to be uploading soon um, about women in Gundam and the um, significance of the star winning Gundam. Yeah. Um, so we like to talk about these things. So it's a nice little sort of podcast style thing that you can put on in the background. We would love to hear your thoughts on that. Yep. And if you like that stuff, hit us up with topics and we would love to get drunk and chat on them. Right on. All right. So matane, everyone. Matane.